Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord. Like the wise men from the East, let us come and adore Jesus, the light and glory of all nations and the salvation of all peoples. Let us bring before Him our gifts, no longer gold, frankincense, and myrrh, but our hearts that obey, trust, and love Him. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate the mysteries of God's love, let us now humbly acknowledge our sins and let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, and you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, and to pray, pray for me to the, the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who on this day revealed your only begotten Son to the nations by the guidance of a star, 
Grant in your mercy that we, who know you already by faith, may be brought to behold the beauty of your sublime glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Epha, all from Sheba, shall come, bearing gold of, and frankincense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice. Lord, and every nation on earth will adore you. Justice shall flower in his days, and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. The kings of Tarshish and the Isles shall offer gifts. The kings of Arabia and Seba shall bring tribute. All kings shall pay him homage. All nations shall serve him. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. For he shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor. The lives of the poor he shall save. Lord, every nation on earth will adore you. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the Gospel. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Oh, 
we are. We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star. And on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord. The word Epiphany means manifestation, revelation. Pagpapakita, pagbubunyag ng kanyang sarili. Ang ipinagdiriwang natin sa araw na ito ay ang pagpapakilala ni Jesus kung sino siya. It was to the shepherds who first came to visit Jesus to whom Jesus revealed himself as the king of the Jews because the shepherds were Jews. Ipinakilala ni Jesus ang kanyang sarili sa mga pastol bilang hari ng Israel sapagkat ang mga pastol ay mga Israelita at sila'y naniniwala sa Diyos may pananampalataya sa Diyos. 
but it was to the Magi from the East who were not Israelites, who were not believers in God. It was to them that Jesus revealed himself in the words of our first reading today as the light and glory of all nations. It was to the wise men from the East that Jesus reveals himself in the words of our second reading today as the salvation of all peoples. Si Jesus ay hindi lamang hari ng Israel, hindi lamang para sa isang lahi o sa isang bayan. Sa kanyang pagbubunyag ng kanyang sarili sa mga pantas mula sa silangan, ipinakilala ni Jesus ang kanyang sarili bilang liwanag ng lahat ng bansa, bilang tagapagliktas ng lahat ng tao. This is what we celebrate today. And thanks be to God, that Jesus is not only for the Israelites, but for all. Dahil kung si Jesus ay para lamang sa mga Israelita, hindi tayo makakasama. Pero dahil si Jesus ay para sa lahat, tagapagligtas ng lahat, nagliligtas sa lahat, nagbibigay ng liwanag sa lahat, Kaya maging sa atin dito sa Pilipinas na hindi naman Israelita, hindi kasama sa lahi ni Jesus, pero tayo'y nakikinabang din sa kaligtasang handog ni Jesus. All because Jesus revealed Himself as the Savior of all. And it happened through the Magi. But how did the Magi found Jesus? Paano ba nilang natagpuan si Jesus? And we all know the answer. They found Jesus through the guidance of a star. That means that these wise men were looking up. And because they were looking up, they saw the star. Kung hindi sila tumitingala, hindi nila makikita ang tala. Nakita nila ang talang maliwanag dahil sila'y tumitingala. If they only looked at the ground, kung nakayuko lang sila palagi o nakatingin lamang sa kanilang paligid, hindi nila mapapansin ang tala. Napansin nila dahil sila'y tumingala. At dahil sila'y tumingala, nakita nila ang kakaibang tala. My dear brothers and sisters, this example of the Magi is very important, especially as we begin a new year. In order to truly live, we must know how to look up and search for our star. It is important to have dreams to have goals in life, to have a purpose, to have an ideal, to have a vision, it is important that we have a star. Because these dreams, goals, ambitions give direction to our life. Kapag wala tayong tinitingnan ng tala sa ating buhay, 
Kung wala tayong pangarap o ambisyon, kung wala tayong purpose o prinsipyo sa buhay, maliligaw tayo kung saan-saan lamang tayo pupunta. Without dreams, ideals, visions, goals, we will live life aimlessly. Dahil yung mga tala sa ating buhay ang nagbibigay sa atin ng direksyon kung saan tayo pupunta. Kung ano ang ating landas na tatahakin. Kaya mahalagang mangarap, mahalaga na may purpose, mahalaga na may sinusundang bituin. Nakakalungkot kapag sa buhay natin, hindi na tayo nangangarap. Wala na tayong pangarap sa buhay. Nakakalungkot kapag tinanong mo ang mga bata, anong gusto mo paglaki mo? At wala silang alam na isagot. Wala nang pangarap. Do we still know how to dream? Marunong pa ba tayong mangarap para sa ating sarili, sa ating pamilya, sa ating bansa, sa ating lipunan? Or are we satisfied with simply looking at the ground? Hindi na tumitingala, ayaw ng mangarap. Okay na yung nasa paligid, ganyan na lamang, wag na tayong mangarap. Do we still know how to dream? And if we still do, then what are your dreams? What are your goals in life? What are the ideals that you live by? What are the visions that drive you to action? What are your stars? Sa simula ng taon, binibigyan tayo ng pagkakataong mangarap muli. Mula sa mga simpleng pangarap hanggang sa mga malalaking pangarap, ano ba ang ating New Year's resolutions? Yan ay mga stars, mga pangarap, mga goal na gusto nating marating. Siguro yung iba sa atin nagsabing, totoong-totoo na. Sa taong ito, magda-diet na ako. Taon-taong New Year's resolution yan. Pero sige lang, gawin nating pangarap yan. Sa taong ito, magiging mabait na ako sa aking pamilya, sa aking mga kaibigan. Sa taong ito, hindi ako magsasalita ng masakit sa aking kapwa o iiwasan ko ng magsinungaling sa aking kapwa. Sa taong ito, mas bibigyan ko na ng panahon ang aking pamilya. Titigilan ko na ang bisyo, ang sugal. Hindi na ako magiging aksaya sa pera. Sa taong ito, mas magsisipag ako sa aking trabaho. Sa taong ito, ay gagawin ko ng mahusay ang aking mga responsibilidad. Sa taong ito, mag-aaral akong mabuti. Sisikapin kong maging kasama sa top ng aming klase. These are goals, dreams, visions, stars in our life. Hindi naman masamang mangarap at hindi kasalanang mangarap. Kaya mangarap tayo ng mga dakilang bagay. Hindi lamang para sa ating sarili, hindi lamang para sa ating pamilya. Mangarap po tayo ng magagandang bagay maging para sa ating bansa, sa ating lipunan, sa ating paligid. Let us dream big. 
Let us have lofty goals. Let us pursue ambitious visions for they keep us alive. Kapag meron kang sinusundang pangarap, yan ang magbibigay ng buhay sa iyo. Pero pag wala ng pangarap sa buhay, malamya ang ating buhay. Walang passion, walang drive, wala na kasing gustong marating. But my dear brothers and sisters, looking up and searching for our stars is not enough. The Magi did not simply look up, did not simply search for the star. They went on a long and difficult journey in order to find what the star is all about. Yung mga pangarap, yung mga goals, yung mga ideals at vision natin sa buhay ay mahalaga. Pero mahalaga din na pagsikapan nating marating ang mga iyon. Because if we will not pursue our goals, if we will not follow our star, we will just end up frustrated, disappointed, and pessimistic. Sasabihin natin, eh bakit pa ako mangangarap? Yun namang pangarap ko noong isang taon, hindi ko rin naman nagawa. Dahil hindi mo nga ginawa. And so looking up and fall, looking up and searching for our stars is just one part of the process. We must have the courage to set on a journey in order to follow our star. After searching for the star, the next question is, what will you do in order to follow your star? After identifying your goals and purposes in life, the next question should be, what are you willing to do to pursue them? Because it is not enough that we know where to go. It is equally important that we have the courage to set out on a journey. We must not just sit around or stand still. We must have the guts to get up and go. Madalas alam naman natin kung saan dapat pumunta. Pero hindi tayo nakararating kasi hindi naman tayo naglalakad papunta sa dapat nating puntahan. Nakaupo na lamang tayo, tatayo-tayo na lang tayo. Para mo marating ang dapat mong puntahan, maglakad ka, maglakbay ka para maabot mo ang dapat mong puntahan. My dear brothers and sisters, in a world that dampens ideals and discourages us to dream, today's solemnity of the Epiphany invites us to keep looking up, search for your star, and follow it. Sa mundo kasi natin ngayon, parang ang hirap-hirap ng mangarap o kapag may matayog kang pangarap, sasabihin, hindi mo naman kayang marating yan. Hindi mo naman maaabot yan. Pero kahit na ganyan ang ating mundo, patuloy tayong mangarap ng mga dakilang bagay, ng mabubuting bagay. Keep looking up, search for your star, and follow your star. No matter how hopeless, no matter how far. Because that star will lead you to a child in a manger. And that child in the manger will reveal himself to you 
as the savior of all, as the fulfillment of all your dreams, as the realization of all your goals and purposes in life. That child in the manger, Jesus, is the true light that brightens our stars. Please stand. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, Light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one, holy, Catholic, and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered here, we share a living tradition, a glorious promise, for the light of Christ continues to shine for all peoples. Let us pray for men and women of all languages, races, and cultures. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the Holy Catholic Church, that she may welcome all who seek peace and truth in her fold. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the nations of a world in darkness, that their leaders may be drawn to the dawning brightness of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For a universal charity, that all bigotry narrowness and racism may be driven from our hearts let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for a spirit of humble worship in our own lives that we may adore jesus in the eucharist with the devotion of the magi who brought gifts let us pray to the lord lord, lord hear, hear our, our prayer, prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, that eternal light may shine on them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God and Father, your Son is light from light, your glowing sign to all nations. As we pray for the peoples of your world, help us to strengthen the bonds of unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Thank you. 
three kings of glory and power, bearing gifts we traverse so far, field and fountain, moor and mountain, following yonder star. Oh, oh, star of wonder, star of night, Star with royal beauty bright, westward leading, still proceeding, guide us to thy perfect light. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look with favor, Lord, we pray, on these gifts of your church in which are offered now not gold or frankincense or myrrh, but he who by them is proclaimed, sacrificed, and received, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when He appeared in our mortal nature, You made us new by the glory of His immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of Your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we have the courage to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Go before us with heavenly light, O Lord, always and everywhere, that we may perceive with clear sight and revere with true affection the mystery in which you have willed us to participate through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pagdalo sa ating misa ngayong umagang ito, sa mga kapatid natin dyan sa labas na matyagang nakatayo at nagsisimba. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpapasensya at maraming salamat din po sa mga servants and staff ng Manila Cathedral na naglilingkod sa ating misa ngayon. We also wish to thank our brothers and sisters who are with us through the online, um, this online live streaming of this Mass. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. At nawa ay pagpalain po ng Panginoon itong bagong linggo at itong bagong taon na ating sinisimulan. May God always guide us through His star so that we may always find Him in everything and in everyone and we may always experience His saving love. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who has called you out of darkness into His wonderful light, pour out in kindness His blessing upon you and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity now and forever. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters now and forever. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended, may you come to Him whom the Magi sought as they followed the star and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.